Okay, so I have been playing around with the uh, Castle Brave 7 now for a couple days. Um, and, you know, when I got this camera, I was super excited. Uh, the, the Brave 6 Plus that we received, I thought was great. It was an awesome little camera. I use it for, like, uh, doing moto vlogging and things like that. And uh, we use it in conjunction with... Um, this this is the this is the uh, Casso external mic. This is their USB C one. So not the same mic that you would use with like the uh, V50 SE and things like that because that uses uh, a mini or a micro SD or a mini or a micro USB style microphone. Um, so we 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 like the Brave Six, but when the Seven LE came out, we were just like, oh my gosh, it's got such. A much nicer build quality and uh, it just feels like a, a premium action camera it, re it really did but there were some features on the 7 le that we weren't overly fond of uh, i don't want to say fond of i want to say that that was missing so the the brave 7 le didn't have USB-C for charging and things like that and i was like oh well that's kind of sad not not a deal breaker but kind of sad um and and uh, it didn't have any external mic support right so uh the brave the brave 7 brave 7 got released here it is and uh we're gonna talk about in this video what we like and uh some of the pretty big shortcomings of, of this camera. All right, coming up. All right, so um, let's talk about a few things that we like about this camera. And just so you guys know, we have done an unboxing video already, so we'll put links up to that up here somewhere, uh, as well as we took it out for a ride on the motorcycle, on the motorcycle, with uh, this attached, the external uh, microphone. So, positives. Uh, build quality, it still has fantastic build quality. That it's It just feels like you are getting a really well-built well uh, piece of gear, right? Uh, the case that it comes in, uh, it's full IP, IPX8 rated without any kind of waterproof casing. Of course, it's got front and rear screens, which is awesome. The buttons are super nice feeling. It's, it's just, you know, if you were to put this in your hand and put a GoPro or, or uh, an Osmo Action, it, you would be like, yeah, they're, they're, on, they're on the same level for sure but you spent a lot less on this. Um, the other thing that I really like, of course, now this has USB-C. That's, that's fantastic. That's a huge perk uh, and upgrade over the Brave 7 LE. And of course it has uh, external mic support through that USB-C port. So that's good. Now, I don't know for sure I am reaching out or have reached out uh, to Acaso again to try to verify if they only support a Casso mics because that was something that a Casso previously with any of their cameras that supported external mics, you had to use theirs. So we are waiting to hear back. And once I do, uh, we will do a, or put a comment down below, just so you guys know. Um, and we may see if we can get different results. If, if it is supported that we can use other brands, uh, we will test this camera possibly with some different third-party mics down the road. Um, uh, comes with comes with a ton of accessories, right? Anything that you and I would need, it, it kind of has. And where do I have it? Yep. This. If you actually watch the motorcycle one, I'll put a little clip up here. Uh, the motorcycle one, I, I like this remote. The fact that this is a lovely upgraded remote without question. Um, the one thing it doesn't do, not that I expected it, is that if the camera is actually powered off, don't expect that this remote is going to be able to power it on. But if you have this on and you want to be able to start and stop the recording, because maybe it's in a place that's not easily accessible, um, you want to change it from video to photo mode, it can do all that. Plus, you can power on and off the remote. And you get, like, which I, I actually super like, is that you get a little display here. So if this is mounted and you hit the record button, 
you can actually see that it's recording because a lot of times, of course, for me, and for instance, I'm, I'm on a motorcycle. And if this is here, down here, I can't, I have no idea. I hit the button, did it start recording? I don't know, I hope so. No, this I can tell because you get a little, yeah, it's recording. The little display says how long it's been recording, et cetera, et cetera. And then when I'm done, I can stop this. If it's good on the wrist, you could mount this to your handlebars or something like that. The Velcro seems really good and solid. That's a huge, I love this, really good. Um, like I said, image quality for a, for a camera in this price point, I think really, really, really good as well. Um, so, uh, before before we go too far into it, uh, I want to talk. I want to talk about uh, some of the or the the big negative. This is this is the big the big negative, and this could be a deal breaker for for some of us out there. So I took this out when I got it, the day I got it, and I mounted it on a Gorillapod, right? Gorillapod, mounted it on there, all good. Did all my little settings, setting my, you know, what resolution, make sure all the stuff was set that I wanted, 60 hertz for us here in North America. Did a big walk around, recorded, come back, and I was like, what? I can't hear it. You guys hear. I'll put, I'll put some footage up here. Ready? Not, not a lot of it, but get a listen. So I was like, oh, I did something to make the audio not work. I must have turned the mic off. So I go in and change it and uh, I change it on and off and I reset the camera and do all that stuff, go up for more shooting. I try practice here in the house. So I literally have it in this room and I got the camera like this far from my face and hit to record. And I'm like, what? I can't, what? That can't be right. So I go online uh, looking for like the online manual, which they have a QR code in, in the package to go get the online version of the manual. And I see this here, I see this on the thing. And as you can see here, it literally says with, with case, uh, no sound recording. And I was like, okay, but I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand this because what do you mean with case? Because this case, this case here, I was like, okay, so are you saying maybe that when this case, this case here is on, that it does something to tell the camera not to record audio. Now that sounds silly, but maybe that's a thing. All right, so I took it out of the case, right? But it says waterproof case, right? But I took it out, I hit, I hit record, and I was like, nope, that's, that's not any better. And then I'm like, maybe this has just got so much waterproofing on it, right? IPX8 again, that the mics just can't hear anything. Like it's so sealed that you get nothing. So this is, this is the negative, right? Um, if you are someone that wants to, let's say vlog with this, but you're like, I don't want to use an external microphone. I just want to be able to pick up and go, or I want to be able to just shoot other stuff, right? Maybe, maybe you're out shooting someone at the water, at the waterfall, at the park, and you just want to pick up all that ambient sound. Well, unless you have an external mic, you're not you're not gonna, not gonna hear anything. Now, again, I sent this uh, just last night back to Acaso, and I have heard a response for them saying that again that their engineers were gonna look into it because I don't I don't understand that the audio out of this it just doesn't make seven it makes seven makes sense because the Brave Seven LE the audio out of the out of the unit the Seven LE actually quite good no external mic support but. I was like, that's decent, it's usable. This this audio out of this, not usable at all. No, and even if you crank it up, like I, I just lifted it as far as I could in post. Nope, not at all. So uh, that's a negative, that's a huge negative. Uh, positive that maybe not everybody knew about. And again, I do this in the unboxing. This, you can unscrew this and this is removable. So if for whatever reason you break this glass, this comes off. So my guess is Acaso's gonna sell uh, replacements. So that's nice, right? That's, that's, that's a positive, for sure, that's a positive. And um, image quality and stabilization. So uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about that, but I'll show you a video that I took this morning. Yeah, 
All right, here it is. Okay, so we're doing another test and you'll see I actually have my little uh, FPV camera up there and uh, it's so that we can figure out which mic is doing better, <laughs> really. But I do have the Acaso mic on right now. So what you're actually hearing is directly from the uh, Acaso mic. So this is how it would sound. And I'm in the house right now, which means it's a little echoey. Yeah, because it's really empty. There's, there's the cats walking around, you know, but we're going to go outside. And again, you guys will get an idea, hopefully, um, of what the external mic sounds like. Because as we found out, the internal mic, not so good. Um, pretty much completely useless. Now I have sent uh, an email off to Acaso and they're going to send that to their engineers. So I guess we will see. But again, we're testing some stabilization right now for just normal walking and, uh, and the external mic because that's kind of important. Same little loop. It rained last night. You guys can see it rained. Maybe you can see. I don't know. And uh, then we're going to go out here, actually, and just do a little simple test. I want to see what the field of view is like. So we're going to just sit on the step where it's dry. And we're going to try the different, like, 170, 140, and see what they're like. All right. So, um, stabilization, I think, is better than the LE. It's probably more on par now with what the 6 Plus was, because I found the 6 Plus had better stabilization than the LE did. I think this one's probably closer to the 6 Plus, which is good. Um, and you guys are hearing what the external mic, which is, again, right here, sounds like. And I'm going to just kind of sit down. You guys get an idea. I'm just going to, right, little walk. And just because, as you guys can see, ready? 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 Hold on. Look. Maybe you can see that. Okay. Sold. Selling our house. Yep. Sold. Oh yes. All right. Let's uh, let's go back uh, up on the stairs here because I think this is a good place for us to kind of get an idea of like what the width is like. So I'm gonna sit here. Ugh. Yep, sitting here, and I'm going to basically turn this off, and we're gonna we're gonna go to this camera, and we're going to now just check the field of views. All right. Hold on. Well, not really much for you. Okay, and if we hold that little button down at the bottom, you can see it switches from the front camera to the rear camera, which is good. So this is 170. What I'm going to do is kind of, I'm going to try to center that tree. So center that tree, that's the 170 degrees. You guys can see that there. And you can see what we're getting for all kinds of width. All right. And then, I don't know if we can, well, if we have to stop recording. Yeah, we do. Okay, so we're going to stop recording. Hit the record there. And now we're recording, and this is the 140 degrees. So the big thing is just to see how much of the tree we're getting in, as well as how much of the, the, the wall, like how much of this building and how much of this building, right? So this is this is 140 degrees, so you get an idea. All right, that should, that should give you lots of information there. Go back in, and then we're going to go back to our settings, angle. We're going to go to 110 degrees. Excellent. We're definitely closer now because we now... You guys will see it here. Now we don't have like any of really the house. There's a little bit of the house on, on my right hand side. You guys may be able to see that creeping into the shot. But that's uh, the 110. All right. And this has no uh, like lens uh, correction or anything on it. So it's just raw to the camera, I guess. All right. So that's 110. And then lastly, we'll go actually pause this and we'll go into the. Oops, go back into angle, back to 70 degrees. Look, look, down here. Look at him, look at him. Look at him go. Little guy, here's your action right there. He's in there. He's in the, he's in the bush. Ready? Where are you going, little guy? Oh, he's gone. He's gone. All right, anyway, back here. There's the bottom of the tree. And uh, so, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely difference, right? So, one last one. Here's, so you get an idea. There's 70. We're... Just kind of getting the light post in on the right, and you can see, kind of see where that house just kind of catches in the shot with the, on the left there with a the kind of green garage door. And we'll pause that. And then for contrast, we'll just go straight back to 170. 
and yep 170 oh yeah like there you go once there like, like that's huge right so it's a big difference but you guys will be able to see quality too of what the 70 degrees is like versus the 170 i'm not sure if it's just cropping into the image or how it's actually getting that but all right let's go back upstairs and uh finish off this review shall we okay. all right so you guys have seen and i've i've just saw this this that video that we just shot so you guys have seen what the image quality is like in decent light you know what none of these i want to say inexpensive budget friendly uh, action cameras do well when there's not enough light that's their sensors aren't big enough that's that's okay i i get it um uh audio not good when you're using the internal let's just call it as it is not good uh, with the external, so with this this fine fella, um, yeah, it, actually, it's, it's quite good. It's quite good when you're just using it to talk. Now, for those of you that watched me on the bike ride video that I did, the motorcycle video, and I'll put a, just a clip of it right right here. You're looking at like ten dollars for the external mic. So you know, you go from one fifty to one sixty. Is that a big deal? No, not at all. I think it's like 10 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. Uh, so that's definitely something to just kind of be, you know, just kind of be knowledgeable about. Um, again, when the bike starts to get really loud, like you're accelerating or you're moving really fast, uh, the auto gain or whatever it is just has problems with it and you get a lot of distortion and static. So. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know what to say. It could have been mic mic positioning, but that mic's been in that position before and it's what I used it with the Brave 6 Plus and I never got those kind of results with that camera, but I'm getting not so great results with this camera. So, maybe some more tinkering, maybe a bit more playing around to figure out what I think of that audio. Again, stabilization, I think for the price point, are you going to get it? Is it going to compete with, you know, the $400 GoPro or, or the, the Action Go or Action Go, the DJI Action? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, probably not, right? But again, 149 bucks brand new. So that, it, it did pretty good. Uh, we also, as you saw in the video, tested the field of views. After looking at the footage, you can tell it's a crop. So I, I, would always shoot 170 degrees and just crop and post because that's pretty much what it's doing, right? It's only got one sensor, one lens, so it's doing a crop. So is it usable? Yeah, for sure. Even down at 70 degrees, especially if the image is like static and not moving, it's usable for sure. So um, what are my what are my final thoughts? Who's who's this for? Who um, who should buy this? So number one, if you want a action camera and audio is not a concern at all, right? You're like, no, it's, it's a secondary camera. I'm not even going to use the audio. Yeah, then it's great. I, I love having the front facing screen, you know, the rear facing, front facing, really good. I love that this lens can be exchanged. My guess is, I'm hoping if it breaks, uh, it's a complete, it's a complete unit in, in regards to like video. I think it's, it's, it. For the price point, it's it's actually probably shooting a little above what I what my expectations are. And a lot of people, I had watched a bunch of videos because I was trying to figure out if it was my camera that was having the audio problems or if it was um, just something all all around. And I watched a couple of videos, and everybody's having the audio issue, so not me. But a lot of people are like the image quality or the image color out of this is flat. I like that. So I'm, I actually am a fan of this having flat colors because I like to color grade later and having that flat color profile, not really a profile, but just a flat image, I prefer than having something that is oversaturated and contrasty because I can add that later. I can't take it away. So I don't, I don't mind that at all. I actually prefer it. So I think that's, that's good. Um, so if you don't mind a little bit of color grading and you're using it strictly for audio, then it's a good, it's a good buy. Strictly for not audio, right? Yeah, you don't want to plug in an external mic. That's that's who should get this. The other person that should probably get this, possibly, maybe, is someone that doesn't mind, even if you need audio, using their external mic. It's cheap, it's like 10 bucks or 15 bucks, something like that, so that's not a big deal. The audio, when that's plugged in, 
actually quite good, especially if you're just, you know, you're a talking head, walk, walking and talking. I think that was, it was excellent. So for that price point, yeah, that's, that's not bad. The fact that you can get this for like 150 US and this for like 10 bucks, you're about a hundred and what is that? <laughs> My math skills, right? $160 US. That's, that's, that's not a lot of complaints, but you got an action camera. Do you want to always be carrying an external mic around with you whenever you want audio? And I don't know how it's going to be just to get ambient audio. You're what are you going to do? Hold this up and be like, you talking to this. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's, uh, it's, it's for us. It's for a very specific person right now. That person is video is, you know, you want decent video. You like the front facing screen. You like the fact that you can remove this and audio is not important, right? Audio is not important. Um, you definitely are not buying this if audio is important. If they can fix that audio, maybe it's a firmware thing. Maybe it's something that with firmware they can remedy. If they can fix the audio issue, I think for the price, this is a killer little camera. But as it stands, you have to realize that you only buy this if audio you don't care about or, or you don't mind using this, right? Yeah. All right, my friends, that's it. This is the Acaso Brave 7. This is my final thoughts as of now. This is using it for the past pretty, pretty, pretty extensively for the past, you know, three, four days. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or if you've used it, put leave them down in the comments area and if I hear back anything from Macasso in regards to uh, updates firmwares fixes etc cetera, etc cetera, I will be sure to either leave an additional comment down below so make sure you look for it I'll make sure it's pinned and uh, if it's a substantial update where things get fixed we, we will do a new video all right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. Uh, information down below if you'd like to pick one up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell because, hey, we appreciate that. We do. And uh, we'll see you fine folks in tomorrow's video. Later, my friends.